you're welcome to this channel um it's been exciting working with you guys in this video today we will be looking at the anatomy of the the gross anatomy of the gastrointestinal tract of the dog okay um we will start by looking at the stomach okay this is the stomach and then we will then look at the intestines okay now let's start this way this is the esophagus okay this is the esophagus it's just a stump of the esophagus actually okay uh, the reason why we have this stump is to show you where and how it enters the stomach okay it enters the stomach okay so this is it this is a stump of the esophagus all right now this is the entire stomach okay the stomach of the dog is actually a simple stomach if you compare it to what we have in the ruminant you will realize that uh, that of the ruminant is is actually bigger and more complex that is why in classification the the stomach of the dog is regarded or classified as a simple stomach while that of the ruminant is regarded or classified as a complex stomach so this is actually a simple stomach in a simple stomach like this we have the greater curvature okay this is the greater curvature while this is the lesser curvature okay of the stomach see this curvature here is actually smaller or shorter than this other one here so this is a greater curvature of the stomach while this is a lesser curvature of the stomach okay now this is the pylorus okay this is the pylorus internally if we should cut this open we won't do that now for the sake of um, the time and um uh, you know so we can finish on time so if you cut this internally you actually see the pyloric uh, sphincter okay so this is the stomach the greater curvature the lesser curvature while from this point to this point is actually the pylorus now that is all uh, or what i have to say about the stomach uh, for now then let's talk about the intestines okay of course it's general knowledge that the intestines are actually uh, divided into two major parts the small intestines and the large intestine now from this point down all to this point okay is a large intestine that is from this point down all this to this point is the la is the small intestine okay so but the in small intestine is divided into three parts the first one is the duodenum okay so this is the duodenum this is the duodenum the duodenum uh, is actually almost a straight tube okay of course they are all tubular organs it's almost a straight tube unlike the jejunum okay the second aspect or second portion of this small intestine is actually called okay it's made up of numerous coiled tubes okay so at the point where this coiling starts from that is where the duodenum the jejunum starts from okay right so the, the duodenum actually stops at this point okay while the jejunum continues from here so all these coiled tubes are all jejunum so the jejunum continues until this point okay where you have a straight short tube this is actually the ileum okay so i take it again this is a duodenum okay of course this is a duodenal loop this loop is a this this formation here is a duodenal loop that is where you have the pancreas so this is a part of the pancreas okay this is the pancreas okay so this is the duodenum and then from this point okay you have the jejunum up till this point where you now have the very short ileum from this point to this point is the ileum okay now let's look at the large intestine the large intestine is actually very very short okay and of course the first part of the large intestine is the second okay and now this is followed by the colon now the entire of these tubes tube is the colon uh, i must tell you that the ileum actually joins the colon you know at a junction called the iliocolic junction 
okay and then there's an orifice actually at this point internally okay that is the orifice uh, the, the entrance from the ileum into the colon is called the iliocolic orifice and this junction between the ileum and the colon is called the iliocolic junction now the first part of the large intestine which is the second actually continues or joins with this colon at also this point okay the orifice uh, the, that is the pathway through which this secum enters the colon is called the secocolic orifice and then the junction is called the secocolic junction that is externally now we talk of orifice internally while we talk of junction externally okay so internally we talk of secocolic uh, orifice while externally we talk of secocolic junction now the colon is made up of three major parts just like found as it is found in man that is in human beings okay you have the ascending colon you have the transverse colon and you have the descending colon okay you have the ascending colon you have the transverse colon and we have the descending colon now after the colon the next and final uh, part of the large intestine you have is actually the rectum this is just a part it was just cut the major part of the rectum is was left in the animal okay so the three major parts of the large intestine once again i take is the circum the colon which is made up of ascending transverse and descending colon and then finally the the rectum thank you very much for watching if you have questions you can drop them at the comment section and also make your comments uh, do well to subscribe to our channel if you've not done so and then uh, do well to also um, um, uh, click share our videos and also click on the notification bell icon so you can be notified whenever we post our videos god bless you